Hello and welcome or welcome back to the AGF Design Studio channel. My name is Alana. I'm a freelance lettering artist and designer based in Brooklyn, New York. And today we are going to be talking all about the multicolor eyedrop function in Adobe Fresco. This feature is one of the hidden gems, I would say, of Adobe Fresco because of how versatile it is and you might be surprised with all the different ways that you can use it. So we're going to be looking at three different ways that you can use the multicolor eyedrop function in Adobe Fresco. Let's jump in. So the multicolor eyedrop function is just a way for you to literally select multiple colors from a source. That can be a photo, a part of your canvas that you already have colors added to already, random color swatches, really anything that you bring to Fresco. For this first demo, I'm going to be using the drawing aids to put together a rainbow color palette brush. Let's take a look. Now with this all put together for me on my canvas, I can go to my eyedropper tool in the bottom left-hand corner here. Now you might by default have the solid color option, which is this little solid blue dot here. What we're looking for is the one right underneath it that has like four segments, which you can also confirm in the top right-hand corner where it says multiple colors. So right away, you can see in your color chip that you're selecting multiple colors, right? And this is basically a preview of what your swatch will look like when you are done. So what do I do next? I'm going to select my color swatch here and I'm going to hit the plus sign. That will add this as a new color swatch so that I could select it later. So now I'm just gonna turn off this layer here and add a new layer and we'll start previewing what this looks like. The small chisel brush is great if you really like a flat ribbon effect. So I really like to use this for ribbon lettering. I have a whole ribbon lettering tutorial where I use this brush. I'll link it in the description box below. This brush is really great and I would definitely consider this like a level one tutorial usage for this kind of effect. You'll also notice that if I were to, for example, flip this around, so not having the purple on the left, but instead having the purple on the right, and then created a new multicolor swatch, I would get a slightly different effect. The purple stripe is more forward and the red is more back. So you can get sort of two different kinds of effects depending on how you order your colors in your swatch that you're sampling from. So just keep that in mind. This was level one, let's head over to level two. All right, for this level two demo of the multicolor brush and all that it can do. So I'm going to start by just filling this with a solid color. I'm going to select a nice soft brush. So I would suggest using something like the soft round, for example. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this layer that's right above my circle. I'm just gonna make it a clipping mask layer so that I can make some edits to this circle and the colors in it. Make it a little bit bigger. So just a quick brush in the bottom right hand corner to add some dimensional shadow there. And then I'm just gonna tap on my color chip, grab some white and add a nice bright hot spot to this circle, just like that. Once I'm done with that, I'm just gonna merge this all together by tapping my clipping mask layer once and selecting merge down. From here, I'm ready to grab my multicolor eyedropper. So you might need to zoom out a little bit 
in order to get the entire effect. It's cool because it's round, so it's easy to sort of exactly fit. So, got that selected. Again, I'm gonna tap my little color chip and hit that plus sign icon to add that to my library. So for this one, we are going to use our hard round brush. Pretty insane, right? Super dynamic, dimensional, 3D effect, all just because of that one sample that we did from this original circle. Let's take a look at that again. Sort of funny, it sort of looks like a tube of toothpaste, but it has so much personality, so much dimensional effect just built into the brush. This is really part of what makes this, uh, this feature so cool and so versatile because you can pretty much source anything you'd like and get a different effect each time. So how can we take this another step further? Let's look at what editing a brush like this would look like using our shape dynamics and brush settings in Adobe Fresco. So going back to that same ball that we had drawn, what if I want to create a different effect to the brush by making some edits to it? If I go to the bottom left-hand corner here, and I go to my brush settings, I adjust my spacing. I can do a little preview in the window here, if you like. And now I've got these spaced out little beads, almost like a string of pearls, ready to go just by changing that one that one setting. Now, I drew everything blue. I like blue, but maybe I don't want it for every single project. How can I change that? So, you can select your color chip and go to your HSB sliders here. So here, you could do something as simple as changing the hue, and you get that same effect from before, but now with a whole different color. Pretty awesome, super versatile and fun. So what are other ways that we can use this effect to our total advantage? So let's say I wanted to use this leaf as my brush stamp. Can I do it? Yes, we can. With the multicolor eyedropper. So basically you're just going to zoom out until you've got that leaf right in your crosshair there. I'm gonna hit that plus sign icon again. Using this swatch, with my hard round brush. And again, making sure that my spacing is adjusted. And also, honestly, just changing any of these other things that I wanna change. I can change the way that the, the size varies. You can add pressure sensitivity, apply more pressure, the leaves get bigger or smaller. You can pretty much add any sort of different effects and things that you want. Jitter just basically adds a level of randomness <laughs> to what you draw. But this is like such a cool and organic way to make a fun pattern or a fun background for something just with a few strokes of your pen. Basically just making a nice fluid pattern instantly. So cool, right? So. How are you going to use the multicolor eyedropper tool in your next project? Let me know in a comment down below. Thank you so much for watching this video. 
Let me know if you have any questions in a comment down below. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe if you're new here. If you want to know more about Adobe Fresco, you can check out my tutorial playlist. Thank you so much for being a part of this community, and I'll see you guys in the next video.